Hello, welcome to Podcast Versus Players. Can you believe it? It's been a while since we did one of these. It's been uh, a little while, yeah. Yeah, but I, f- I think we've got one. Ooh. So that's a good sign, really. Uh, well, yeah. Um, I can't actually remember the scores, Dan. Um, you, I know you lost the last one. Yeah, I think it's 2-1. 2-1. I think so. Two wins, one loss. Could be wrong. I don't care. But, but we'll go with it. It's 2-1. Let's see if we can make it 3-1. Or possibly better for me, to all. Yeah, maybe. I, I'm confident today, though. I've been. I've, Are you? Yeah, I've you been, finished you been procrastinating. No, no, I actually finished everything on Arkham Knight except the Riddler trophies. So oh, yeah, me. I've been no, solving really. pretty much everything Riddle based at the moment. So my detective mode is activated. Unfortunately, Dan, none of these are in Riddle format. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> my preparations <laughs> amount to nothing. <laughs> anyway. Okay. Shall we begin? Yes, go for the first uh, one. Are you ready? I'm settled, um, I'm hunkered. Your headline for this episode, Dan, mm. well, for this story, Chinese man allegedly doesn't poop for ten years. Right, that's already, that's impossible. <laughs> the as yet unidentified man reportedly complained over the past decade of severe stomach aches and constipation, but doctors were unable to determine what exactly was wrong. Well, eventually, one of them caught on and allegedly found that he had an 11-pound blockage of faecal matter in his colon. The mass was so big that it reportedly moved to his heart to accommodate the massive load. The doctors diagnosed him with congenital megacolon, which is a pretty sweet death metal band, to be fair. (laughs) Um, Congenital megacolon, otherwise known as Hirschprung's disease, is defined by the Mayo Clinic as a condition that affects the large intestine and causes problems while passing a stool. Symptoms include a swollen belly, constipation and gas, while the cause may be a genetic mutation that affects the nerve cells of the colon. The man from Chengdu reportedly had the 11 pound blockage surgically removed and is now in recovery. Okay. That's a big poo, Dan. (laughs) (laughs) I would have much preferred it if they'd sat him down and measured it on the Keurig scale as to (laughs) what this poo would eventually be. Would it be Bono sized or would it be. I don't know. It might be Bono. It hasn't been a new album for a while. <laughs> That's where he goes to write his albums. <laughs> what inside a Chinese man's colon? <laughs> Could be. He's got the money for it. Exactly. Yeah. Mm. Okay. You... Let's, let's move on. I'm not. I'm not willing to discuss no. this one further at this you... point. Okay. Your next headline. Okay. Na- <laughs> Naked man rubs it, rubs himself against a granny and declares he's Buzz Lightyear. <laughs> Nathan Pearson supposedly grabbed a 66-year-old woman for a bear hug as she walked through an alley. The horrified victim cold cops that her nose and mouth were pressed against Pearson's chest so tightly she couldn't breathe for a minute. She also reportedly got the 33-year-old sweat in her mouth while he repeatedly called her grandma. The cops even said that Pearson would randomly shout out he was Buzz Lightyear. After Pearson let her go, he reportedly grabbed another man and began humping him. When cops arrived at the scene, they threatened to taser the Austin man. But cops said he fearlessly jumped onto the man's back, grabbed him around the neck, and continued to hump him from behind. Cops then used the taser and, p- and cuffed him. They suspect he was on some sort of drug due to his unnatural strength. Really, do you reckon? Sounds it. <laughs> yeah. It sounds to be very drug related. Well, the odds of him, rem- uh, uh, an old lady remembering his say uh, Buzz Lightyear, <laughs> is pretty slim, really. Because you, you know what people are like, especially older people, when it comes to you know, pop culture. Mm. They always get it slightly wrong. So it'll be Buzz Firefighter or Buzz Lighter or something Fireman like that. Fireman Buzz. Yeah, exactly. Well, she, mm, yeah. I'm, I'm calling dubious on that one to start with. Shall we move on? Let's. Okay. Right. Your third and final headline. Okay. Man arrested over rectum robbery. <laughs> Is it the guy from the first one, by the chance? It might be. It might be Bono. <laughs> <laughs> Cops in New Jersey uncovered what seems to be the most elaborate pit pocket in recent years. Store workers at a local tool store called police after they became increasingly suspicious of a bizarre man, picking up tools and various other items. But when he would disappear out of view towards the back of the store, he would emerge without the items. When cops arrived, they asked the man to open his jacket and empty his pockets, but they found nothing. One officer remained with the man whilst the other checked the store's CCTV, and it does prove the man had said items on his person. That seemingly didn't. 
even though the items were not to be seen laying around near the back of the store. As bizarre as it was, cops had no proof in order to detain the man. Until he farted. As he farted, he unleashed... <laughs> As he farted, he unleashed a hellish scream, causing the cops to handcuff the man, drop his trousers, and uncover a buttload of items. Oh, nice. Which he tried to hide inside his rectum. Once taken to hospital, paramedics and doctors removed a small pin hammer, some wood glue, and the most impressive of all, and most impressive of all, a rather large tape measure. After the treatment, the man was arrested and taken to New Jersey prison, where he was awaiting trial at the Monmouth County Probation Department. So we have, mm. in order, Dan. Chinese man allegedly doesn't poop for ten years. <laughs> <laughs> Naked man rubs himself against a granny and declares that he's Buzz Lightyear. And the man arrested over the rectum robbery. Yeah, and to explain, two of these stories are true according to the internet, anyway. And one of these Callum has made up, yeah. as in it's completely bullshit. And it is now my job to try and do a bit of detective work and figure out which is which. Hmm. So, let's look into this. A guy doesn't have a poo for ten years. Now, I assume that after about a week, you'd think, oh, that's odd. I haven't had a, I haven't had a poo in a while. That's really weird. I'm feeling a bit blocked up. Say after the first month, <laughs> at that point, you'd say, I haven't had a poo. This is really, really odd. By the end of the first year, you'd think, Okay, something is definitely wrong. I definitely haven't dropped a load and I feel awful because all the toxins in all my poo is still leaking into my body. Ten years? Did he have constant checks and updates and surgical bowel removements along this, this, this period? <laughs> no, so it was just ten years later. He just went in with a huge stomach and they were just like, how are you still alive? The fact that it's saying that he, he pushed his heart out of the way to... This thing would be the size of him. Yeah. That's at least a hundred Turex. <laughs> Turex. <laughs> it's an international scale. Get it right. Lots of Turex. Turex. I thought it's Turex. No, Sorry. no. Curex. I'm not up to date with poo slime. Bloody hell. <laughs> um. Hmm. I mean, I know that, that, that there are, you know, a whole bunch of different kind of diseases which, you know, stop you from actually having a shit or pissing properly and stuff. But what was, the, what was the name of the condition that he was suffering from again? Uh, congenital megacolon. A congenital megacolon. Now, a megacolon is something I've heard as a term before. Now, I know that is a real medical term, but as to what it relates to, I'm not sure. Because usually when it comes to these sort of medical things, that you know, they've got a really ridiculous Latin name or something. And whatever it sounds like, it doesn't usually relate to that part of the body. I just thought it was like when you're typing and you did a colon and you put it in bold. Could be. <laughs> I mean, it's a pretty bold colon he's got. Um, yeah, so I mean, the fact that there's a, a massive poo and he didn't realise that he hadn't had a poo. It's not like you forget to leave the light on or something. And it's just like, oh yeah, God, I haven't pooed in two so years. so many years, it might be like, I must have had a poo. Well, no, because he'd be continually eating. <laughs> he'd still have to eat and drink. Yeah, that's what I mean. It must be like, a, I must have had one and just can't remember. Yeah, I, I'm, I don't know. I'm, I'm quite, <laughs> I, I like, I enjoy my time pooing. <laughs> and I think I would definitely notice if I went for an extended period of time without dropping one out. Well, I had to go for a poo before we did this video. Yeah. And I don't, I don't think I could have, I could have waited till we'd done a video. And that was like... <laughs> You know, I don't know how long this video will be, but it's not going to be ten years. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, I'm, I'm not sold on that at all. I think it's. I, I know that people, you know, chew hair for years and stuff, and they they basically remove, you know, hair shaped fur balls, really hair mm. balls from people's stomachs that are shaped like their stomach, because it's just been in there for years and just doesn't dissolve properly. So, people do remove really odd things from the human body, but. I don't know how he would still be alive after 10 years worth of food that's been digested. Like, how would it get into his small intestine? It would all be blocked up. Mm. It would only be able to push around to a certain point before then it pushes it out. That's what pooing is. It's pushing out to make room <laughs> for the more stuff. So it would block up his entire small intestine, then his large intestine. And then it would, it would just back up all the way to like his stomach. 
and he'd die. <laughs> he just wouldn't be able to just eat anymore. He would be literally floating about in his stomach. So to say that it's moving all of his other organs out of the way, I'm pretty sure his intestines would have ripped before that happened. If so, you've just joined us, this is Podcast vs. Play. Podcast <laughs> Talking versus about poo. poo. <laughs> yeah. Um, so I'm, I, it's very unlikely, but it's one of those sort of stories where it's just like it's a one in a billion chance, you know. He survived, but he lives in a, a poor area, say, so, you know, he, he just had to sort of put up with it. And, you know, it could just be some kind of true story, or at least true for what the internet claims it to be. Hmm. Um, so next, the old lady getting attacked by a naked man screaming Buzz Lightyear at her. Yeah. Um, was any of this captured on CCTV, or was this all witness statement? I can't do so I've all any of this information done. Because you don't know it, or because you made it up? Well, who knows? Dang, I thought I was going to get you there. It's a case of, I gave you the information I, I think that you can use to make a judgement. Okay. Okay, right, so some guy jumps her, yes. pushes her face into his own chest, and starts dry humping her, shouting something about Buzz Lightyear. Was this at night, was it? Uh, it basically just says as she walked through an alley right because I mean it's it's more likely that people would be on the type of drugs that would make you do such a thing during the night or at least at a party or something hmm. so why would there be an old lady down an alleyway at night and the fact that the she re- the fact she remembers that the name Buzz Lightyear as well hmm. that gives me pause for thought so what did right so he jumped on her, started dry humping her. Yeah. Then he jumped on a another person. Another man. Another man. And this man would have, I assume, been in the alley as well. Guessing so. Yeah, so he saw an old woman getting dry humped and didn't attempt to stop her. So he walked past in order for this guy to jump on his back and then start doing the same thing. Yeah. Yeah. And then, coincidentally, the police turn up at the same time and then taser him. After being humped from behind. <laughs> no, that was just some random man that was getting humped from behind. No, no. Cops said he fearlessly jumped onto the man's back, grabbed him around the neck and continued to hump him from behind. What man? That man. What one man? Of the, one of the police, I'm guessing. Well, that's, that's, that's a very different thing. Because how long was he dry humping this woman for in order for someone to call the police and not intervene? Or for her to call the police and just go... <laughs> and then they trace the call back to her. He would have been at it for a very long time. <laughs> so that means that someone called the police and didn't try and stop him. Or she apparently called the police and they got there almost immediately. Or they just happened to be driving past. And then... There's no way that someone in that position, a naked man on top of an old woman, <laughs> would be able to be in the position to get behind a policeman. If they're ready to tase him, they've got the tasers out, and they're ready to go, he wouldn't be able to get behind them to jump on their back. They would tase him if, they, if he started running at him with his twigging berries all flopping about. He would, they would tase him straight in the face and drop him to the floor. Wouldn't they? What, maybe this I'll, is in I'll America this is in America that's true they probably shot him <laughs> <laughs> well I, I think they probably would have tased him pretty much straight away as soon as yeah. he was away from the old lady so they didn't tase her as well and so, it turned out he was trying to wrestle the old lady to get his wallet back yeah yeah she, she just, just stole his off. clothes and <laughs> 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 um, yeah so that one also seems very unlikely um, and then we've got number three which was um, man arrested over rectum robbery now this does sound like the sort of stupid thing that some criminals do Um, having worked in in retail myself before I've seen people on CCTV you know climbing up racking to pull drills off and then they will just walk out of the shop Hmm. and no one notices it because it's just so weird and it's the same with shoving things up your ass I assume (laughs) is the fact that the odds of anybody actually thinking wait a minute did he just come out of there with things? His, his trousers look a bit heavier than they did before. But I do like the fact, I do like the idea, sorry, that when this guy fired, like the tape measure blew out, like <laughs> <laughs> six meters. <laughs> yeah, and then it went and it popped out the rest of it. Um, but that just that reminds me of that episode of South Park when Cartman eats all the treasure from the treasure's cove yeah. and then fast it and it just this huge pile of fake gold is just pooped out 
So I've got a feeling that you may very well have seen that on South Park and that might have given you some kind of indication as to do something along those lines. However, that Absolutely. does sound like the sort of... Out of the three, that one seems like it's certainly the most believable because people are stupid and people will shove things up their arse because they assume think, that people won't check them. I think all three of these stories prove that people are stupid. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so two are real, one is not. Which is the question? It's a very interesting question. Mm. Personally, I think it's between the first two, because a man not taking a poo for th- ten years, sounds like he'd die before that point, yeah. and an no, old I woman would. getting... <laughs> well, most people would. In fact, everyone would. <laughs> but then an old, an old lady getting dry humped by some naked man who's off his tits on drugs and then managed to get in onto the back of a police officer also sounds very unbelievable. But then again, they could just be very unbelievable yet realistic stories and the one that yet again seems the most possible is in fact the one that you've made up. So this is a tricky one. And my commendation before we go any further as to the, uh, the stories chosen for this one. They're pretty impressive. Thank you very much, sir. Quite welcome. I am the weird wizard. Yes, I don't know where you find <laughs> these sort of things, but I'm, I'm quite impressed. Um, but decision time. I'm, I'm, I'm going to go with the, the, the rubber one, because it does seem more likely I'll let that go. So I think it's between the the poo man or the naked dude lady. The poo man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> naked dude lady makes it sound like it's a completely different story, but... Oh, no, that's we'll, actually... We'll um, no, that's um, congenital megatoxin megacolon's <laughs> first album. Naked old lady. And Naked old lady, dude. Yeah. <laughs> um, fuck. I don't. I really don't know. Um, so I'm going to go with. Oh shit! And I, I, it's between the two. And if it's the other one, fair enough. But if it's the other one of these two, I'll be really annoyed. But I'm going to go for number two. I'm going to say naked old lady dude. Naked old lady dude is a lie. Yeah, that's what I'm going to go with. So it was... We foolishly forgot to look what the actual scores are. So <laughs> we'll Either way, we'll, we'll add it in post, it's fine. Yeah, so it's 2-1 to Dan. <laughs> Apparently. Um, Dan has correctly guessed um, two weeks... Well, two episodes. Um, he's correctly guessed the false story. Um, I can... Tell you, Dan. Chinese man allegedly uh, allegedly doesn't poop for ten years is real. Yeah. Naked man rubs himself against granny and declares he's Buzz Lightyear. That's real. Oh, what? Man arrested over rectum robbery. Fake. Yeah. See, that was the thing. Like, I knew it it's as soon as as soon as you were saying it. Like because I just know how you how your mind works for these sort of things, because you'll pull two things that just sound totally ridiculous, and then you'll one that sounds well that actually probably could happen because people are idiots. Um, but then I thought this week he's done it before. I don't think he'll do it again. Ha. I actually left you a little clue in oh. that story. Um, after I wrote man arrested with rectum robbery. Um, it was all done as police in New Jersey uncovered what seems to be blah 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 Yeah. and then when I was reading back over the grandma one which was also in America the papers put cops so I changed all the police in my story to cops except for one which I left as police ah. and that was, your, that was your clue Dan why would that be a clue? because if it was an American paper they wouldn't say police they'd say cops according to that previous story <laughs> ah, well, according to your reasoning yeah yeah so I left one police in there and all the rest of cops well I and I, and I even I even googled um, what the prison is called in New Jersey it's just called New Jersey prison see wait, that was the thing when you said New Jersey prison I just thought he hasn't looked that up at all has he he's just said the uh, New Jersey prison yeah <laughs> that's fine next and then you got a waiting trial at the Monmouth County Probation Department. I assume that's one that's close to New Jersey or in New Jersey. Yeah. Yeah. 
Well, journalism. <laughs> <laughs> Googling. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm, I'm happy enough to accept defeat on that one. Because I, I knew, I'd like, like I said before I even thought about it, if it's one of those two and I get the, the wrong one, I'll be annoyed because they both sound ridiculous. <laughs> but if it's the other one and I'm steering away from that just for the fact that I think it's too obvious, I don't mind. Because at least I sort yeah. of talk my way through the others. Your detective work was sound. I think it was. It, it was all sound. made sense. Yes. But unfortunately, it was all wrong. I'm gonna. He went on a little sneaky one that I was Ooh. gonna use, but it was quite shit. <laughs> um, where a ginger was banned from flying <laughs> because she looked too ill. Uh, yeah, I've no, I've actually read that. So it's probably a good reason, you, uh, probably yeah. a good choice that you didn't put that one in because I've already heard that story. So I'm glad I didn't, huh? But, yeah, um, yeah. So it's too old, Dan. Too old. Apparently. We're drawing. Yeah, it's apparently, either way, we're drawing. Either it, way. It's maybe almost two nil. Two, uh, two all. Sorry. Yeah, possibly. Either yeah. way, Dan got it wrong again. Yeah. <laughs> Said the Chinese um, man. If you'd like to see some more, can you believe it? Um, you can head over to the website, which is www.podcastversusplay.com. Or if you just want to get straight into it, you can head to the YouTube, which is. It is www.youtube.com forward slash podcast v player. Um, if you have any strange or bizarre stories that you would like um, to include, don't send them to us because Dan will see them. <laughs> no, please do and send that to the Twitter at podcast vs player. <laughs> and on that note, I'm going to go. Yeah, as am I. So bye, everyone. Bye. <laughs> Okay. No, Nitro. Oh, yeah. oh man. Nitro. 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 Okay. <laughs> <laughs> <Hey>, Nitro. <laughs> you want to go bowling? <laughs>